fake companies there. They will come, they take money for projects, they can't install and that project don't will benefit to them in any way. Mm -hmm. They had failed. Japanese very there, mm -hmm. they we don't poor, they're not even anymore. We are still paying for them. You see, eh? right. uh, both they have my road where they make now all of them in the inside, they be don't scrap. So I took my time for experience. Apart from the war, mm -hmm. these things where they do not be woke. And we are still paying for them. And we don't come up from war now. Mm -hmm. How go develop itself if we still have to pay for things where the body of any used to be? Mm -hmm. So after that I left. When they do their consultation, they give we hundred percent debt right off in that area. Hundred percent, the right of everything. So that is how APC then come in. Mm -hmm. And during that time when they actually uh, control UNA in terms of uh, uh, how that they manage UNA finances. Right. Get that money back, who will be the pay? Who will they pay? Mm -hmm. They be the keeper. They the keeper in the Bank of Sierra Leone. You see, so that we reach, uh, uh, we, 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 they don't write off the debt now. Mm -hmm. That money, they, mm -hmm. the Bank of Sierra Leone, they make it available to you. Mm -hmm. But you can only use them mm -hmm. with the permission of uh, their inter with international partners there. Mm -hmm. With them, if you get for right to them, they give you special permission because now they actually get the money. Right. Now they actually get the money. So what did they happen? Mm -hmm. Before you use that, you can forget their permission. So at that time, all the left government back, we had 542 billion loans in the account in uh, uh, Bank of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. That money was there. In fact, the last six months of uh, midterm as finance minister, mm -hmm. I began to go to America for make an ask for special permission because we be want for buy generators there. Mm -hmm. For make we can install in a free town because we they get light problem. So we decided say mm -hmm. quick impact, make we buy generators. They want make a uh, what? Two megawatt generators there. Let we buy them for free town. We install them all over the uh, the place and east, central and west. Mm -hmm. So that by the time we move on and they come on we'll be for use their machine eh, for take them out into the provinces. Mm -hmm. Those who are the plans we get will go uh will go ask for special dis uh, dispensation for make the allow it. They said no, because we go into election uh, if we do that they nah, like campaign would they try for use the right. money for campaign. So now wait after after election. So they <laughs> said no to us. Right. And mm -hmm. very interesting. Defeat the British uh, government mm -hmm. for make they even disburse but the way they do not agree with we mm -hmm. for make their support with budget. That last year mm -hmm. oh the government they refused to provide that support. I get for go Ghana to me colleague, we don't die now. Mm -hmm. He intervened, we talked to the British High Commission that will be there, they intervene, they say, well, pass, we present with audited accounts. Hmm. And imagine we are coming from war, we will not be get uh, professional people there. Now me employ a professional accountant. Now you there for come manage the, the accountant general in office. Mm -hmm. And we get for do we accounts, we are like three, four years backward. During the time we are there, mm -hmm. now we do all of the accounts there now. And normally, when you do the account, you get for presenter to parliament right. before you go. Uh, the, the, uh, you go join it with her. We had to dispense of that for make the British people then see her no more, so that they go give you money. That did not work. So finally, we are on what you call cash budget management system. Mm -hmm. Which I waiting with the collect from uh, NRA. Mm -hmm. Now we they spend, so that we had to cut down we expenditure to a very uh, big level. So we survive it all. We still able to do election. And then, uh, so at the time we, uh, they come in really. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, uh, they had a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. We had built institutions. Mm -hmm. And it just happened to say at that time, we also don't look at NRA. And for increase with revenue collection at NRA, mm -hmm. we devise a system. Which I would say, we now go, go charge uh, GST. Uh, uh, in fact, I may even give that name. Mm -hmm. They have to call them VAT. I say no, local and GST, goods and service tax. Mm -hmm. And how it works, most of the companies there, uh, where they do business, well, uh, I mean, some are good companies, but a good number of them, like 
I will be specific, like the Lebanese there, mm -hmm. the, the communists there, where, where they, they deal with them. They are now they, they get ownership on them. So when they send invoice, something where they cost like uh, ten dollar, mm -hmm. where now in the actuality, where they, they send invoice for pay tax, mm -hmm. they go charge a one dollar. So when they pay tax on one dollar, mm -hmm. where then they sell now, they go don't work out the the, the, the selling price mm -hmm. for say this ten dollar now will be for pay ten percent. So if they pay ten percent on one dollar, they they now work ten percent on ten dollar. They add them, then they add the margin. So that's how they over exploit the country. So we decide say, okay, the thing we go do now, we'll just charge a minimum like landing fee, clarity fee, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. based on your shipping document. Right. But when you they sell the item, mm -hmm. we are now going to charge you a percentage on the price where you they sell. Mm -hmm. So if you are not selling your goods for twelve dollar, you don't work out your margin, you probably say that two dollar, you don't add that. We sell will take a percentage now of that twelve dollar. You see, right. so that means we revenue now instead of you now be the tax of one dollar, you are now taxing on the final price. So the, for make them cheat you in that angle, day it will be difficult. So that is how we also arrange that area day mm. for make the revenue less more than triple self mm. where uh, they would get. We right. never had the opportunity to actually implement that. We okay. just set it up mm -hmm. and we left it for them. Okay, and, and so and so. Did, uh, Right, go John. That brings me to this other question about the extractive industries transparency uh, initiative. When at the EITI, you know, uh, we we've been hearing from the former Minister of Finance uh, uh, in the APC government when uh, uh, Dr. Kefala Marabi the talks say the EITI was set up way back in 2004. And so I want for may you able for shed light on that too and tell we if now the SLPP government set her up before when they left and why when I set her up if that was true you see that a disaster we meet with mm -hmm. we after we don't make all that effort right it comes for doing the house of bad managers mm -hmm. the EITI way they talk about mm -hmm. in his wisdom decides there he go disclose because countries there mm -hmm. they, they don't ban for uh uh, sign that EITI. Mm -hmm. But if you, as a poor country, you need help, mm -hmm. now people, them, taxpayers, for need they give you, mm -hmm. then you get to undertake for make you be transparent, make you be open, and make your accounts be audited by them in one form or the other. Mm -hmm. So, Pakaba, not even 2004. The third way I did it in mm -hmm. uh, 2005, mm -hmm. 2006. Mm -hmm. And that's a Pakaba commit to law for say, we now will respect all the uh, guidelines that we did give you mm -hmm. in, in that direction. Mm -hmm. What that means is, in the, you know, the mining and extractive industry. Mm -hmm. What did they do, for instance, like Rutai? Mm -hmm. Rutai, they come, they, they, pay, uh, so like Rutai, they pay money to government. Then they pay money to parliamentarians. Uh, then they pay money to the paramount chiefs there. Then, then they pay money to other people there. So what uh, the, the rule talk is, all the uh, payments there, they for make the documents available mm -hmm. to these secretariats when they look at them. Then they can out to government for say, how much money will I get from government? So we shall get for set up with your mechanism. So that every money we'll get from uh, Rutai, mm -hmm. we get for make it available to this secretariat, then they go compare for see whether what you then they pay to we is equal to what you would they enter that the government books. Okay. So that is how we set up that that, that arrangement and we set her up I mean I mean for make it cover all the mining sector areas there. Mm -hmm. So that it will be transparent to everybody and if they above even the president in control. Right. So that for instance let the, the the petroleum uh, unit where they set up mm -hmm. with the under the the presidency. Right. They don't talk say for make you can't buy a plot. Now fifteen thousand dollars you can pay. Mm -hmm. uh, then for make sure say if you don't get a license, then indeed that fifteen thousand dollars the book will show say you pay. Mm -hmm. If you underpay, then it will be reported. So now we undertake that venture day. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, 
with all due respect to the former minister, mm -hmm. when they come, the whole thing almost collapsed on their hand. But when we set it up at the time I was leaving, mm -hmm. there was a big progress. What you can do now for check with the secretariat, mm -hmm. make them know, make them able to tell you the difficulties they ran into. Because they had a lot of difficulties. For instance, like the chiefs there, they would say, oh, I mean the money where they be, be, be get uh, for the chief don't, now they may they use uh, as part of their payments. And what, because what you want to see is how much development are we getting? Mm -hmm. out of all the exercises right. if for instance uh, uh, like take like Sira Rutai mm -hmm. at the time I was there as minister after the war be done done EU they can't they say that they help we as a poor country then they give we a grant of 25 million euros mm -hmm. 25 million euros we they give us a grant now we put that into the mining area if I thought was how the EV can now for say let will sign this e, uh, EIT IT. Because they say, with the give that this money here, we now use that for developing a mining sector mm -hmm. as a priority area. Fortunately, or unfortunately, now one company be there at that time, where mining company will be survived the war, will be in, there in a, an operational manner, mm -hmm. will have been still a rutile. So that they will be going to give that 25 million euro. And we say, they will use that as we own uh, some so form of shares that are coming in. Then, at the same time, for a few years, we get a tax waiver. We all for go for out of to with shares. Mm -hmm. And here we are now, as, as you don't know, talk to you, we don't get 1% shares that are coming in. That money will be invested, had all sort of uh, been uh, mismanaged. Mm -hmm. But they tell with the during that Ebola time, the 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 pay off with shares in fact about twelve thousand dollars they pay for all which shares will be needed at the company. Then the, it now became uh, 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 entirely a company where government not get no shares in And that is how they have been able to now sell the company from one person to another. And the reason why we won't forget shares in that company mm -hmm. now for make government get a seat. So that at any point in time where that company they change hands, mm -hmm. you have a stake. You have the first option. And if they want for sell, the price don't re mm -hmm. you don't satisfy with that, they will not sell. Because you are a shareholder. You see? And so, and so all of that we and, have not And so God John, the EITI would not say Periodically, they can do inquiry into all of these things. And in fact, every country get representation on the EITI. Uh, wherein, one, they get representation from government, they get representation from the companies that way they do the mining, like you did say, and then representation from the civil service. I mean, I mean, the civil uh, society. And so, right, yes. from the time where the SLPP be in power and you now be Minister of Finance, you remember at any point in time where the EITI then do an inquiry into how when I be the manage the, uh, the, uh, the finances from the mining companies then, and waiting to be the stance of Sierra Leone at that time under the SLPP? No, no, you see, in fact, that is what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And when they check, they mm -hmm. find out, say, mm -hmm. uh, uh, most of what we are reporting, mm -hmm. say, now we get, was actually correct. Okay. And how would they use the money? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was also accounted for properly. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, because now we sign the agreement, now we say, mm -hmm. in fact, they will do that investigation mm -hmm. so that we could see, say, we are benefiting from uh, the whole process. Right. And, uh, if we don't get benefit, make them find out a loopholes so that we will address them for make the country benefit. Mm. So up to the time where we are living, there was a lot of problems. We got a new system we don't put in place. Now when they come, that was when the thing got stuck. Mm. Because first they did not want to go along with it. Right. As far as they're concerned, not the, the, uh, anybody in business. So they did not, they, there was a lot of reluctance on their part. And in fact, the Secretariat did if, if possible, you can find out from them, they will give you a, a track record of how they, they, they don't grow that place they, and which is the current status. You see, a lot of things that they mm -hmm. we have to be honest about that. They begin to manage the government mm -hmm. on the basis of corruption. For instance, as they talk about uh, uh, NRA, mm -hmm. this GSGT will put in place. Right. The first thing we then do 
where they begin for uh, implement the GSTC, mm -hmm. one great man grabbed Go Ghana, and he was Deputy Minister of Finance. Mm -hmm. He go give a contract for make them give receipts, make them make receipts, receipt book, GST receipt book. Mm -hmm. It became a big scandal. Six billion dollars contract for just make receipt for GST. <laughs> Six billion dollars. Oh, Before they even begin yeah. collect one cent. Mm -hmm. So this tells you mm -hmm. how we had really, really cheated this country. Because you don't begin collect it. And yeah, if, you spend anything, six billion, right. if you have said you get GSD customers, you tell them, say, look, we na make with your receipt. You understand that? Eh? Mm -hmm. We go give you uh, approval say you like GSD policy. It was not going to cost you anything. So, so God, John, by your, by your own understanding, you feel say na a lack of uh, na ignorance as to how to manage the government. I mean, the country or na be just corruption for do that kind of thing. You know, for making receipts that you not begin collected. You see, these people have been governing mm -hmm. for over twenty years, right? And their own style of governing was that they report to nobody. They do anything what they want for do. Because when we come in, one other thing we we'll put in was asset declaration. Mm -hmm. You have to declare your asset. This was to drive fear into people that at the end of the day, the day of recording will come. So when you come, mm -hmm. you want to serve as minister mm -hmm. like I did, mm -hmm. you declare your asset. Right. Then now we set up anti corruption. Mm -hmm. And all those records are available to anti corruption. We are thinking that anti corruption will really focus on issues like that and devise ways and means of how you go track people so that if you declare your assets say you, where you don't come you don't be a, a minister your asset not come up to half a million dollar if you they left now and they see say your asset they over two three million dollar mm -hmm. then anti-corruption will even talk to you but they come and it just begins like routine they let everybody declare assets so a lot of things were put in place they just did it for the fault of it. But right. they don't mean that. Well, and the, some of the, the issues where they take, uh -huh. that deliberate corrupt uh, act where they commit, okay, mm -hmm. with no regard to the impact of the country. You well, you know, the other claims back I mean, way, the, the, the other claim where mm -hmm. people have been claim back, uh, you know, Mr. Benjamin, uh, the fact that uh, the National Revenue Authority, NRA, and I suppose for collect all revenues in the country, but some miners, they be the claim, say, they be they go pay money to the Ministry of Finance, some then they go pay to the Ministry of Marine Resources, and of course, why is the others then they pay to the NRA under the APC government, so that that's not be one of the problems that we make they not succeed in the EITI. Is that how you were collecting revenues under the SLPP government? In fact, what did we do? Mm -hmm. Because when we begin that EITI process, mm -hmm. we say for easily monitor collection, mm -hmm. we decide say NRA, mm -hmm. I mean, all payments sort of should now go through NRA so that it go to uh, one account. Mm -hmm. So we we'll try to make sure that then uh, ministries them mm -hmm. we now uh, revenue gener generating ministries them mm -hmm. the payment procedure we put NRA people in there so that now therefore collect the payment and account straight it to government account is it so that it does not go to the minister of this per se okay. or you get an NRA officer there wait for collect money in the name of government and put it to the consolidated form okay. but when they come now they scatter their things there again Right. So that it becomes difficult to manage. Right. So these are teething problems we discovered mm -hmm. and we try to address them by consolidating the accounts during the time we may be there. Mm -hmm. So at the time we have been left, I mean that's the type of thing we did. You right. see? And so uh Mr. So May in fact uh -huh. apart, apart from that also make I tell you all the things they won't do for them. Right. Apart from that, when we they left back, we had this issue of fear mm -hmm. price where they increase. Mm -hmm. Me and the Minister of Trade, now we the supervisor area there. Mm -hmm. So at that time, the Minister of Trade don't be there in the country. Now me supervise the, the bit to hold, hold for make we increase the cost of fuel. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I discovered first day, the cost of fuel in Kwendu is like almost twice the cost of fuel in Freetown. Mm -hmm. So when we increase the price, I looked at it and said, no, but why, why, why would we do this? 
because fuel price now the whole country if will be the same because like beer mm. we are they buy beer now free time for six seven thousand at the bar now should go by six seven thousand so why fear in for uh, very that manner mm -hmm. so we looked at it and said no uh that don't be the case so we now pick the the, the price mm -hmm. that do as the price that we'll give for uh, sell up all fearless and drop that low price that free town and that difference gave us a big margin mm -hmm. it gave us a big margin so uh, uh because of that mm -hmm. government decided to say we will open what we call strategic form mm -hmm. we for put that difference there mm -hmm. the way they get uh, road users for mm -hmm. with the put on there so that that money could no more purposely for make a neighbor government later on for bring fear uh, on its own so that it will stabilize the price uh, structure a bit because anytime we they in, uh, import fear mm -hmm. if the price vary above like five percent or so mm -hmm. it affect the pump price and that be the great problem for we so oh, when right. we did that mm -hmm. we also decided that mm -hmm. we did look at the cost of petrol kerosene and diesel and uh, instead of we left the small small differences where they make people that they uh, mix their fear there mm -hmm. we put all at the same price so like now you can see say, uh, petrol they go for six thousand a liter kerosene they go for six thousand a liter diesel they go for six thousand a liter that was my idea so we put all the price at uniform and that differential will be there between the highest price and the lowest price also went into that form so at the time with the left government we had over 15 billion euros in that account we been there for for back we use for mm -hmm. for uh, uh develop the country mm -hmm. after they talk to you that phone is gone and now what did they do in fact then when you look at the latest price where they get mm -hmm. they don't get some amount where they, they collect they say for development nobody don't know whether they control that money there. Mm -hmm. So somehow, mm -hmm. when you did run an economy mm -hmm. for a poor country like Sierra mm -hmm. you get for look at the interest of the people. So that let you not begin talking about infrastructure. When in actual sense, that infrastructure is making the people poorer and they deepen the poverty inside the country. And so, yeah. and so, so God John, yeah, that brings me to the issue of uh, the road constructions under the APC government. We know, say, before the SLPP, they left power, the SLPP be don't begin for construct roads, then, you know, in the country as well. So, we want to know the money where the APC they use for constructing roads in Sierra Leone, whether the SLPP government may left any money in the coffers of government for going towards road construction in the country, or whether they take over and then fend money for constructing roads here, whether they construct. Well, uh, what do you know? Mm -hmm. At the time we are being there, mm -hmm. uh, we as the government, mm -hmm. we will when they do what you call international bidding oh they do their road them mm -hmm. when they bid so that people the way they, they fund their road them like the uh, international financial institutions eh, mm -hmm. that all they take part so you know just take contract and give somebody then they can forget that you expand the for Kade. for instance during the day 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 now we do the McKinney uh, road mm -hmm. then uh, we come back uh cambia will be don't give that contract if we love the road now uh, we will be don't give the contract to one company and uh then also when i mean there as minister mm -hmm. they have been the city the mashaka my 91 highway also i will see i don't think that they yeah mm -hmm. yes uh, those are roads where now we we don't get all the money we then just come now for can uh open them but okay. those your contracts all give it under SRPP banner. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, we are the we'll be there as Minister of Finance. Mm -hmm. We we'll go to World Bank. They give you a grant. This is not a loan. Give you a grant of thirty something million dollars. Mm -hmm. And that money they now we use for resurface both Kedema Highway. Mm -hmm. Then that, that same money back we use for do the Makedi Matutuka Highway. So those are monies when uh, 
we been getting from World Bank as grant, not alone, no, as grant. I got your, I got your, by your, by your knowledge, who will not be the guy, who will not be the giving contracts then to people there? Because they really say the contracts where the APC they give to people then, this now, you really will there, you will not don't verify it. Is that uh, then they, the one that where they construct the roads, the Chinese them, then they charge one million dollars, between one million to two million dollars for every one mile of construction where they do. I don't know if now so when I said they give when I contract them, you know, way under the SLPP. Well, you see, when you do a contract, mm -hmm. it depends on the quality of road. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the thickness of the the, the road work way they do, mm -hmm. the number of bridges. You know, every road gets a, a young value. But on average, mm -hmm. the average price day, where you look at that, they will tell you, say, a two-lane road of this nature will cost you so much. If you do them now, uh, a city, it will double because of the uh, housing uh, impact you get for pay for this, for that. If you do a na bush, it will cost you less. So all of those things are there. But when you compare the average to what is going on in our country, mm -hmm. it is far above the average under APC. That I will tell you for free. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, why did they do that now? Now because, as I tell you, we now left a financial space for them of over of up to 90 million dollars a year mm -hmm. they wrote for instance from kedema to Quindu. Mm -hmm. when i've been there let me uh, go to the arab there and the road was costing 110 million from kedema to Quindu. Mm -hmm. when i go to the arab there they show interest in them we come then we can't do uh, uh, uh a meeting in Africa, mm -hmm. who said we can't do fundraising on it. They mm -hmm. approve the road in, in, in entirety, but they say mm -hmm. they go further in two bits. One, they go do them for 55 million, we will go up to Penembo. Mm -hmm. Then why that day they go on, they will do the other funding, we will take them from Penembo to Quindu. So we are going through that, that type of international uh, process. But here we are, now you get $90 billion a year. What it means say, if you want to do a road like what they want to do now, where they don't mortgage to the Chinese there for 25 years, you want to do a road, where is it a four lane road, not two road, that road they cost $150 billion. And also, any reason why they for say they for go and mortgage that road there, okay, to the Chinese for make the run up for 25 years. And then there's a many Chinese there do up and run up for 25 years. When mm -hmm. in actual sense, you can pay for it because from the 90 million where you need to get now plus additional revenue you go for paper even in two years time mm -hmm. but what they are now doing like some of the roads where they do like he called road then free town roads uh, these are roads where they defund from the government so mm -hmm. they're not going to go to any tender then the also where they, they do now uh, like where they say that they tie the this retail quarter thousand those are roads where they defund from government they're not going to go through it, and then sell to themselves no more. They, they do some of that thing. So if they make the road expensive, and it also make the quality poor. In fact, this is the reason why you see, say, at some point in time, mm -hmm. they begin for some the minister of uh, works and the director general of SLRA, mm -hmm. Munda Rogers. Mm -hmm. They start there because of some of the uh, difficulties there, where they will get for control that situation there. Mm -hmm. So somehow. Now, an unfortunate situation for say <coughs> when they come i mean um, the accountability system will put in place mm -hmm. they don't reverse all and so, so this is uh, why you are seeing like mm -hmm. the the uh, the, the, the but when I'm head of anti-corruption mm -hmm. now because the Anthony general so you go see say he was already part of the system and that if it be effective enough mm -hmm. believe me he is the one man who don't be for go near government self in any way. Because you are there mm -hmm. for seek the interest of the country, not that of government. You right. understand that? Eh? Right. But if you see you you come on the you go into government, it means you are never seeking the interest of the country. Of the country. You are seeking government interest. 
And so, and so, and so, uh, Mr. Benjamin, then contracts then way the APC government don't sign with the Chinese there, especially like for the Toro where you talk about uh, for 25 years. You think, say, the next government coming in, that contract they bind on that government in the country as a whole, then get for uphold them, or they have a right to uh, cancel the contract? Well, you can review all of their contracts. I can, I can tell you, for instance, mm -hmm. when I uh, became Minister of Finance, mm -hmm. We meet them, we don't sign an agreement with the Chinese there. Mm -hmm. For make uh, them do this to do uh, hydro, mm -hmm. they will agree to upgrade it from 2.5 megawatts to 4.5 megawatts. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the amount exactly, but like government was going to pay part of the money, then the Chinese company was going to provide the equipment and whatnot, and uh, that was going to amount to about $3 million, something like that. Mm -hmm. So based on that, they had already signed an agreement that because of that, uh, the Chinese they, they can't do the work, and then they manage the project just the they want for do mm -hmm. and until they recover their money. So when I come, I go to China, mm -hmm. I, I met the company, mm -hmm. I ask them how long they could take for ship. Mm -hmm. They say six months, they think they go reach here. So it was like one year for make the equipment the company and then they reach salon. Mm -hmm. So when I looked at it that way, I said no, no, mm -hmm. they need nothing for make una bring Chinese that can manage that project. Mm -hmm. We will pay you. I can make arrangements. We pay them and fans before they ship. Then when they when the team reach, we pay them some money. Then when they finish the installation, we pay them off. Yeah. So we took over the business. There was no need for me to you bring Chinese there for make them manage uh the hydro. We in natural sense the Australian Union that can do do, do the same thing you there. Right. So we changed it, and at the same, some of the agreements the way the way they sign. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can review them in different aspects for as long as it is in the interest of your country. For instance, your call was ended because right. you no longer have sufficient funds.